Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, it's me, Mr. Fork Upscaler. I know I've been busy and uh, I've been away for a little bit. Uh, and I also am aware that there's a lot of stuff happening in the uh, gaming industry. And one of the things that uh, I missed out yesterday on was uh, Horizon Forbidden West uh, Showcase. And, uh, well, let's look at it. Let's check it out on our C10 LG 48 inch OLED. This is 4K HDR. And uh, I will let you know what I think. I will give you my honest opinions and thoughts on it. This is my first time seeing this. And uh, let's get right into it. Let's get into this uh, analysis and give you my thoughts on it. Please keep in mind, these are just my opinions, okay? They're just my opinions. All right, looks good. Easy, easy. It's okay. You're safe now. They're taking the full advantage of uh, Decima engine, I see. Nice. What happened? Where's Aaron? Ambush. Well, what's a problem with raiders? They hit our camp hard. We ran and they chased us down. Aaron was away from camp. Scouting. But he's still out there. Where was that? Raiders got machines on their side. Claws Riders. You should go after Aaron. If they find him before you do, who knows what they'll do to him. Great motion capture and the... Uh, I can see the textures have been fully detailed. Almost as, as good as uh, The Last of Us. Oh yeah, I definitely see uh, an improvement here, big time. With shadows and everything seems to be running more fluid. This looks like a 60 FPS to me, guys. Uh, I'm not sure what the resolution is. Uh, possibly checkerboard? I don't know, maybe 1440p? I'm just guessing. But uh, nonetheless, man, the graphics are... pretty outstanding oh wow it's like avatar man it has that avatar feel to it I like it this is 60 FPS guys I mean I know the difference between 30 and 60 and uh, this looks very fluid on my TV You know, a lot of people complain about 1440p. Listen, 1440p is still good. It's still a great source of resolution to be checkerboard and upscale to 4K. Now, I would love to see this game run at uh, 1600p source with 60 FPS. That'd be great, you know. But again, I don't want to speculate and, and talk about that right now. Let's wait for the full version of the game. I'm just guessing here, okay? Guys, this is 60. Uh, this looks to me like a 60 FPS, man. I, I've been a gamer for a long time to know the difference between 30 and 60. Some people have been saying 30. No, man, this is 60. 60 FPS. It looks great. Love the music. Uh, it has that whole avatar uh, feel to it. I, I can see that Guerrilla Games, they really wanted to... Uh, go for that avatar uh, feel, like that James Cameron avatar feel. I like it. Oh, wow. Look at this.
That looks beautiful. Look at the reflection and, and uh, the ripples of the water moving this way. Wow, that's beautiful. Look, this will be a console seller. There's no question about it. When this game comes out, then you got a reason to purchase a PlayStation 5, you know. I, mean, I can tell you right now, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped, I'm excited, and I'm not, like, surprised, of course. It, it's a uh, Horizon Zero Dawn sequel. So, yes, uh, of course I'm excited about this. Why wouldn't I be? And I already knew that this is going to be great. Just like I know the God of War Ragnarok is going to be great. Uh, and the next Spider-Man is going to be great. We already know that. But to be honest, I'm more excited about Gran Turismo 7. Uh, just to be honest. But this looks beautiful. This is like Avatar CGI uh, feel to it. I love it. Oh, what the hell is that? Optimus Prime? <laughs> this is like watching a CGI movie, man. It's really good. You guys wouldn't be laughing. Soundtrack's pretty, uh, pretty dope. I love it. Wow, this looks beautiful, man. Well, Imagine how beautiful this is going to look when the game is finally finished and released. Like on your TV. You have to remember, this is uh, compressed 4K HDR. So when you have a compressed 4K HDR, you can't expect to see what you're going to actually see when you finally start playing this game. Love it, man. Love the soundtrack. Love the combat. This is going to be great, man. You think you can hurt me? Wow. Check this out. Yeah, I do. Nice. Need I remind people, man, the soundtrack and the sound effects, man, are really top-notch quality. This is what you call high-quality, millions of dollars, you know, triple-A game. Maybe I can cut them off. And this is what people want, okay? This is why you want to buy a PS5, because you want to experience this with a 3D audio, dual sense controller, haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, you know, when she uses that arrow and bow. Uh, and you're gonna feel all of that. But when this game comes out, obviously, then you'll have a reason to, to go out there and purchase a PS5, hopefully for the retail uh, price. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to cut this short because uh, I'm recording this in 4K. I only have 10 minutes. Because I only have, you know, 10 minutes and I'm recording this in 4K, obviously. Uploading these videos, you know, takes... Uh, huge thaw on my uh, internet and you know internet these days it's expensive because a lot of people are working from home you know data they're charging you for that uh you know 
they say you have unlimited data, but you really don't. You still have to pay. Um, look, what can I say? I mean, it looks great. Uh, doesn't surprise me. I expect I expect a game like this of this caliber, this highly anticipated sequel to look this great on the PS5. Uh, can't wait to see the finished product. What can I say? Hey, man, two thumbs up. Looks great. End of story. Moving on. Let's see uh, Gran Turismo uh, 7. I'm really stoked about Gran Turismo 7, man. I'm a huge fan. All right. So I'll catch you guys later on the live stream. Take care.